Hey everyone, what's up? It's Zach. I'm here with another YouTube video. Today I'm, I'm going to be talking about Is Fortnite Addictive? Well, let's find out. I'm going to go down some of these facts with y'all, talk about them, uh, get my opinion out there, and um, see if y'all have any views or facts on it, and let me know what you think. I uh, said so a nine year old girl was sent to rehab. Now, she was sent to rehab for. Instead of stopping the game, she decided to pee herself and pee her pants instead of stopping to play a game. So that was one. Two, she was falling asleep in school. Three, she was aggressive towards her friends. And number four, the one of the other big ones up here, is she was spending $67 a month on her family credit card bill to add on to her games and number five she slapped her dad in the face when she when he tried to take the game and Xbox one away she slapped him across the face now it says this game has been downloaded more than 100 by more than 150 million people this year okay it is popular with celebrities, and I saw the one of these celebrities downloaded it has now carpal tunnel syndrome from playing the game. Now, is it an addiction, or just addictive? I mean, is there a difference? Yes, there's a difference, because addiction means... You're not going to stop playing it. You're going to do what you have to do. Whatever you have to do to keep playing it. Addictive means you want to do it. But you can stop if you want. Now. Sending her to rehab. Was that the right decision? You know. I mean. I don't know the girl. So. When she slapped her dad across the face. Does she have anger issues? I mean who knows. Either way, I don't give her the right to slap her dad in the face. You know, I don't give her the right to do that. Now, the $67 a month, would that be considered an addiction? I mean, I don't know. I mean, if you're spending $67 a month on a game, but it's not your money, and she's nine years old, so I mean, does she know right from wrong? Yes, she knows right from wrong, but it's not her money. She probably don't really understand money. I ain't never really had any money of her own. So she probably don't really care and don't really understand it from that perspective. Now, being aggressive towards her friends, I mean, like I said, she might have anger issues. Who knows? Now, falling asleep in school. I mean, I'm sure every kid has put their head down or fell asleep in school once or twice, you know. I mean, it just kind of, it happens. Now, as far as peeing herself instead of stopping to play the game, I mean, like I said, I don't know the girl. I don't know her life. Um, you know, who knows what's wrong, if she has anger issues or whatnot, you know. I don't know. I just wanted to put this video out here, you know, because, you know, it's weird because I've been seeing, you know, Fortnite has been out for, I think, close to the same years as GTA, you know, and people have been playing GTA for ever, and, you know, people are not having an effect at GTA that I can see, and, you know, some people might come on here, see this video, and be like, well, people are stealing cars and shooting up schools because of GTA. Well, I don't know about that because, I mean, people might want to shoot people because of GTA or they might, or someone steals a car in a police video and they steal another car and it's real life and then someone might come at GTA doesn't mean it's because they're addicted to GTA, you know. But, you know, it seems like Fortnite has really, like, grown in the past, like, not even near, like, two, one, three months, you know, four months, five months. It's just, like, grown, and everybody's playing Fortnite now, it seems like, you know. And, you know, like, all the big YouTubers that do games, almost all of them are doing 
Fortnite, and you know all the people that were playing GTA, even some of them were switching over to Fortnite. Now I don't know why Fortnite has grown so much over these past one to four months, five months, you know, but it has, and you know, I don't know if people are getting addicted to it. Like I said, um, I think it's more of a of a mindset thing. Once you quit playing it, you know. I think it would be over, you know. If you just keep your mind off something, put your mind on something else, don't think about it, don't play it. I mean, it's probably going to not affect you as bad. But, you know, some people react to things differently than other people react to. So, something I react to might be completely different from something one of you guys react to or one of you girls react to, you know. So, it's just... For me, it's just a mindset thing. Most of the time with games and stuff, I just, you know, just put it back and think think about something else. It's that's it. But that's all I got for right now. Um, let me know what you guys think. Um, if you think you know why Fortnite has grown so much in the past one to four or five months, uh, also let me know. And if you have a video you would like me to do to put my comments on, uh, put my view or get my opinion or reaction or view, also let me know. I'll be doing them. Um, that's all I got for right now. Thank you all, and have a good day.